Hi there! In this video tutorial you're going to learn how to set up a Wireshark Trace to capture voice traffic. First off, connect to your media gateway and allow for port mirroring. To do that you're going to do set port mirror. You're going to start with the, with the uh, source which is the one connected to the network and then you're gonna select the one you're gonna listen from the sampling has to be set up as always and the uh, direction you want it to be both ways once you hit enter there it should be now enabled to make sure you can do show port mirror as you can see here it is enabled the second step is to run Wireshark from here I can run the command T shark which is the CLI command it comes in handy to run T Shark if you if you think someone is gonna come and close your program. It'll run in the background instead. So you're gonna run the command T Shark space hyphen D to find out your interfaces. Here interface four is the one that I'm connected to. That's my Ethernet uh, interface. So I'm gonna run this command here t shark space hyphen i for interface space the number which is four and uh space hyphen z the z here what it does is it'll it'll give you a live output not recorded into a file but really if you want to see statistics um right from here from the cli then after that, what I'm telling here is buffer the buffer file size 1K space buffer files 3, so it's 3 files. And I want them written to this path, ctrace, voip trace, that pcap. Uh, the, files, the file type could be, I think it's pcap and, and there's 3 other more, so I forget right now, but if you run that command, it's going to start, it's going to start capturing and as you can see here, it's pop populating already my files. Once it reaches 1K, it'll move on to the next file. I'm going to make a test call so we, you can see the trace live. Okay, so I, I made a few calls. We can stop this. Control C will stop it. Like I said before, the uh, hyphen Z will give you this output. So you can tell here, cut call signaling st uh, setup where two calls made. So I made two phone calls and obviously two preceded calls and whatnot. So it gives you a, a pretty handy output live here before you can even go and look at the file. Now to, to open the file, you can either double click here or you can just go straight to the uh, directory and once here you can just do the VoIP, the VoIP and, and PCAP and you just can hit enter there it will open up um, here you can just select by protocol or you just can just go to telephony VoIP calls and here's my my call that, that I made if I want to see the ladder you can click on flow and here it tells you pretty much uh, the traffic traversing from one gateway to the other so the call setup call processing alerting so on and so forth and also tells you here what codec type I was using good thing is that you can also if you select this you can prepare filter and close this and then you can apply the filter Alright folks, that's pretty much how you set up a basic 
trace using Wireshark and port mirroring from the media gateway. Once you completed your trace, you want to clear it. So you do clear port mirror and that will disable. You say yes here. Now your port is back to normal. See you next time.